point of this exhibition is to say, okay, let's look at dance not as something that is exterior to us, something that would be separate from the viewer. Rather, let's look at dance as something that is lived from the inside. So the reason it's called uh, Drafting Interior Techniques is precisely that reason. It's because it's an exhibition that was written from the point of view of the dancer, that is living the experience of going through their body, sensing what they are sensing, and showing it to others. And after Steve, I understood that being a performer is, is not just or is not about uh, exhibiting myself, but it's about experimenting myself. The concept of the show, we built it around the question that comes and comes again in Steve Paxton's life. This question being, what is my body doing when I am not conscious of it? So in the exhibition we have uh, separate some of his uh, studies. Gravity, solo, uh, anarchy, pedestrian movement, touch. Uh, disorientation, all of those studies, which in the exhibition we separated them in an artificial way. But of course, for Steve, all of this is completely uh, the same thing. For us it was very important that the exhibition would not just be a place of exhibition, but a place of experience. So the exhibition itself is full of performatic moments, most of them invisible. And also we have a seminar on uh, Steve's studies. We have also on Sundays, every morning, we have practice of contact improvisation in the space of the exhibition. Contact improvisation offers a frame to study a relation the relation between two bodies that enter in contact. What is happening when we don't know what will happen between us the moment we enter in relation? What is happening if we decide that none of us will make the decision? So anyone, amateur, uh, that never danced before can come change their clothes because we have a locker room and they go and they dance together, which is extremely rare in a set of a museum.